Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we're talking anti-aging skincare, but more specifically, I wanna share with you the six skincare ingredients that I think are essential if you're serious about tackling aging in the skin. I'm now in my mid-30s, and I definitely notice I need a little extra support for my skincare routine and the ingredients I choose to tackle fine lines, wrinkles, a loss of firmness, elasticity, and of course, an increase in hyperpigmentation, which we can all experience as our age profile of our skin increases. However, do not worry, because honestly, there's some fantastic ingredients out there that can really help us to take control of our anti-aging skincare routine and help to boost our skin confidence. If you read the reports, the paper and the scientific data behind a lot of the ingredients, it can be a little bit overwhelming and baffling. And I want to simplify everything in today's video. So sit back, relax, and let's talk the essential ingredients for anti-aging. Now, before we get into this, I'd like to issue a big old caveat that when we talk about anti-aging skincare, a lot of people don't really like that term. It's the one that's most commonly used in the skincare world and in the industry but a lot of people feel that the anti in front of it is quite negative. It's almost something that we should be ashamed of the aging we see in our skin. This absolutely should not be the case. And whilst I'm gonna to continue to use the term anti-aging because it's the one that I prefer and sits well with me, I almost think we should reclaim this and say, you know what, there are things that we can do to delay aging, to improve the texture of our skin and bring back our skin confidence, but we should never be ashamed of our skin or allow it to define us. We should be proud of the journey we've been on with our skin. And honestly, if that's your ethos and this is what you want to live your skincare journey by. Promise me that you'll sound off in the comments section below and let me know. If whilst you're down there, if you give this video a big thumbs up and a like, because honestly, I want to kind of transform the narrative around anti-aging to say, yes, it's a term we all use and it's definitely one that's well understood, but it's all about supporting each other with our own skincare journeys. And that's what I really want this video to be about. So without further ado, in Mad About Skin Style, shall we cut the waffle and delve into these essential ingredients? Coming in at number one, and you probably all guessed this anyway, is this a broad spectrum sunscreen. Ask any dermatologist, any expert, or any medical professional, what is the most important step in their skincare routine? And they will say sunscreen. A broad spectrum sunscreen, which protects you against UVB as well as UVA radiation, is the must have in any, any skincare routine. That's because most of the aging that we see in our skin is exacerbated by the UV rays of the sun. They can break down the collagen and elastin in our skin, leading to a loss of firmness and elasticity. They can increase the damage to our skin, which causes hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and discoloration and they can also exacerbate fine lines and wrinkles. The number one preventative step from any aging in the skin is that broad spectrum sunscreen. You're really looking for something that has a minimum of an SPF of 30 which is what's going to protect you against the UVB rays. UVB radiation has a higher energy intensity so you see the more immediate effects with that redness and that burning of the skin. UVA radiation can do just as much damage but it is a lot much more longer term because it has a lower energy intensity. It goes deeper into our skin but it can attack the collagen and elastin that makes up our skin, leading to a loss of firmness and elasticity. Like UVB radiation, it can also lead to cellular damage and cancers down the line. Make sure, promise me, that you all have a broad spectrum sunscreen in your skincare collection and that you use it every single day, no matter what the weather's doing, and reapply according to the manufacturer's instructions. If you feel that you're still looking out for that holy grail, ding, 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 sunscreen that works for your skin type and does everything you want, maybe check out a recent video I did on the very best sunscreens of 2021, which I'll link up there. Check that out because there's so many affordable drugstore suggestions in that video. A good sunscreen will protect you all day long and doesn't need to break the bank. Now, moving on from the obvious, which is sunscreen, that's very much a preventative step. It'll help to offset and prevent some of the aging that we can see in our skin and is an absolute must have. But maybe you haven't always used sunscreen as much as you should have done. Maybe you haven't applied it as well as you should. You know, I think we've all been guilty of that at some point, but it's never too late to start using that sunscreen. And there's a lot that can be done with the other ingredients I'm going to come on to now to correct some of the damage that might be seen. First and foremost, I'm going to call out retinoids. Now, retinoids are an umbrella term that encompasses a lot of different names such as retinols, retinals, retinaldehydes, retinoic acid. There's so many things that sit under that umbrella term. Retinoids are absolutely game-changing when it comes to anti-aging skincare. That's because not only can they prevent future aging, they can also offset and reverse accumulated sun damage and photo aging that we already see in the skin. If you haven't been 
as strict with your sunscreen as maybe you wish you had been. Reach for a retinoid because it can help reverse some of the signs of the damage you're seeing, such as hyperpigmentation, discoloration, fine lines and wrinkles. Retinoids work in a multitude of different ways. First and foremost, they increase the rate of cellular turnover, which will help to bring back some vibrancy and luminosity to the skin. It'll also even out some fine lines and wrinkles. They also boost collagen levels in the skin, which is fantastic because collagen is what gives our skin that firmness, elasticity and snapback that we can lose as the age profile of our skin increases. I don't think anyone should be without a retinoid in their skincare routine, but it's really important that you choose the right one for your skin type, one that won't leave you feeling too stripped and dried. I covered the best retinoids by skin type in a recent video, which I'm going to leave a link to up there. But in a short summary, I use these two in my day-to-day -day skincare routine. Every other day I use this, which is different, and they're dappling. This is a prescription strength retinoid, which is one of the best when it comes to fighting acne as well as anti-aging. If like me, you have super oily skin, this could be your best friend. However, I don't use it every single night because I find it a little bit too stripping and drying on my skin. So I mix it with every other night with this, which is the Geek and Gorgeous A-Game Retinal, which is honestly the highest strength retinoid on the market that's available over the counter. I love this because it's drugstore and affordable and it pairs beautifully well with my Adapalene and doesn't leave me feeling too stripped and dried. You could just use the Geek and Gorgeous on its own, to be honest, because it's beautifully hydrating, but it's high potency when it comes to its retinoid benefits. And I'd say just make sure you introduce all of these gradually, little by little, maybe a couple of times a week and build up from there. But this could be a fantastic retinoid to use no matter what your skin type. Now, we've done the sunscreen, we've got our retinoid. These, I say, are the clinically proven must-have ingredients for your skincare routine. But there are others that I want to call out. Next, we want to move on to antioxidants. So, antioxidants are fantastic because they prevent stress, and oxidative stress is caused by free radicals. Free radicals are things which hit our skin and could cause cellular damage, such as UV radiation, blue light, it could be particulate matter, pollution, all things that just stress out our skin and really can damage the cellular structure. Most dermatologists will call out vitamin C as being like the holy grail, the best studied of the antioxidants out there. And it absolutely is. I love to use an ascorbic acid, a pure form of vitamin C in my routine, but it's not for everyone because it can trigger sensitivity, redness, irritation and inflammation in the skin, which honestly just aren't pleasant to use. So don't feel that if you can't reach for an ascorbic acid, you're missing out because there's loads of other antioxidants which will give you that must have protection. There are way too many antioxidants to go through in this video alone. So I'll leave a link to one that I broke down all the different antioxidants if you're still wondering which is the best for you. I'll leave a link to that up there. But two of my absolute favourites are first and foremost vitamin C derivatives. These are more gentle than pure form l acid vitamin C which can be a little bit sensitising on some people's skin. You've got to wait a little bit longer to see the results from a vitamin C derivative because they are more gentle. But I like to see skincare as a marathon not a sprint. So investing for the long term is definitely beneficial. A vitamin C derivative absolutely do that. I formulated my own serum, the Mad About Skin Got You Covered Super Serum with a vitamin C derivative because I think in a 5% concentration that's all you need for your daily vitamin C fix. It's gentle enough that it can be used on even the most sensitive skin types but it gives you all the benefits in the long term. If you don't want to go for a vitamin C you don't need to. Another one of my favourites is this. This is the Reservra F Antioxidant Serum by Face Theory which has multiple different antioxidants in one product. It's got Reservatrol as well alongside ferulic acid which two are the most potent antioxidants that are going to protect your skin. You guys know I also love the Survival Zero by Neod, which is one of my favourite antioxidants that has 15 different ways it protects the skin. So whether you go for a vitamin C derivative, such as this in my own serum, or you go for a blend of antioxidants in something like this, the Face Serum or the Neod product, it's definitely a must for your anti-aging skincare routine. Coming in at number four are peptides. Peptides are a fantastic must-have ingredient when it comes to anti-aging skincare because they offer multiple multiple benefits. I would always say make sure you go for a product which has multiple peptides in so you're doubling down on all the benefits that you can get. Some peptides will hydrate the skin which is fantastic because hydrated skin is healthier and also more useful looking. Some peptides will boost collagen and elastin in the skin. Again fantastic for retaining that firmness and elasticity. And others act as transporters that take the ingredients to the where they're needed in the skin just to give an overall improvement and efficacy of whatever products we choose to use. I always say reach for an ingredient, a product which actually has multiple peptides to cover all these bases. My current favourite is this. This is the Neod Copper Amino Isolate Serum, which does it all. It's got collagen boosting peptides, hydrating peptides and transporter peptides 
all in here. It's like a one-stop shop. This is a reasonably pricey and bougie uh, luxury product, but it's definitely worth that price point. If you don't want to reach for Neod, there's so many other great ones out there. The Mad About Skin Super Serum that I referenced earlier also has peptides in it. So if you do want to get your peptide fix, but you don't want to have to buy separate steps for each step of the routine, this has got you covered. It's in the name and has two great peptides in here alongside the vitamin C derivative that I referenced earlier. Another one of my absolute favorites is the Hylamide Sub-Q Skin, which I'd say works almost as well as the Neod, but it's about half the price. So if you're shopping on a budget, definitely one that you can reach for for your peptide fix. Whichever you go for, honestly, peptides do so much to smoothen out our skin, plump, keep us hydrated, and help to bring back that firmness and elasticity, and they're an absolute must-have. Now, we're kind of in the home straight, but there's two ingredients I definitely don't want you to miss out on when it comes to anti-aging. First and foremost, azelaic acid. I love, love, love azelaic acid incorporating in my skincare routine for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, it does give a light exfoliation to the skin. So even if you have super sensitive and redness prone skin and feel that you can't reach for any other exfoliating acid, azelaic acid will give you a light increase in cellular turnover, which will again bring back some vibrancy, some luminosity, and help to eliminate some hyperpigmentation quicker. Beyond just that, it calms, it soothes, and it minimizes redness. This is fantastic because as we age, our skin rate of skin sensitivity can increase and azelaic acid will help dial that back. Also, don't forget that irritated and inflamed skin is more prone to hyperpigmentation and discoloration. So by calming and soothing everything down, you're less likely to see those dark spots and that discoloration that we often associate as our skin ages. I love azelaic acid and I kind of think it's a must have for everyone's routine, which is why I did like a one-stop shop video documenting all the benefits you can get, which I'll leave a link to up there. If you don't have time to check that video out, don't worry, my two favorites are this. This is the Revox Azelaic Acid 10% beautiful concentration will really help to dial up the rate of cellular turnover, bring back some vibrancy, luminosity, and a more even complexion. If you want to go even stronger than that, this is the Lumazalia A15 Serum by Face Theory, which is in a 15% concentration. You'll definitely with this one get a little bit of prickling and tingling when you first use it because of that higher concentration, but over a period of time, your skin will adjust. You'll definitely get some really, really great benefits. If you're really looking to start on an azelaic acid and you kind of don't know which one to reach for, the serum Serum that I referenced earlier from my own brand actually has a 5% concentration of azelaic acid in it. So it's lower than the Revox and lower than the Face Theory Lumazalia that I just referenced, but that's fine because as a starter azelaic acid, you'll get those benefits in the long term without any of the sensitivity, redness, and irritation. Now, last but by no means least, I want to call out hyaluronic acid. Now, I don't really highlight hyaluronic acid on this channel a whole lot because I find it's in every single skincare product that we reach for. Too much azelaic acid can actually cause red redness, peeling, and irritation in the skin, so always be mindful of how much you're using. However, in a lower concentration, hyaluronic acid is a fantastic humectant, which will help to retain moisture in the skin. This is great because by retaining that moisture, our skin looks more plump, it looks more youthful, and it'll help to iron out any fine lines and wrinkles. I definitely, definitely include hyaluronic acid in my skincare routine, but I don't use it as a standalone step. I turn and I read the ingredients list of all the products that I use, and you'll see that hyaluronic acid or sodium hyaluronate, which is another form of it, is in just about all of them. Make sure that you're not overdoing it, but having a little hyaluronic acid in your life and in your skincare routine will definitely, definitely help with your anti-aging journey, and I think it's an absolute must-have. So, there you have it, guys. My rundown of the six must-have anti-aging skincare ingredients that you should have in your skincare routine. I've learned through trial and error that these are the ones that work best for me. They're also applicable to all skin types, so no matter how sensitive, how dry, or how oily, acne-prone you are, these ingredients will work for you to help help to smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles, tackle the hyperpigmentation and discoloration, and also bring back some firmness and elasticity to the skin. I hope you found this super useful and almost see it as a one-stop shop, a tick sheet that you can mark your own skincare routine against. Not everyone will have anti-aging as their primary skin concern, but if you do, hopefully this video has given you some food for thought to make sure that you've got all the bases covered. I'd love to know what your thoughts and feelings are on your own anti-aging skincare journey, so sound off in the comment section below. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.